so I asked you guys on the internet if I should come back and everyone said yes and some other stuff so here I am I'm back um first let's just get it all out of the way happy new year merry christmas happy thanksgiving happy hanukkah kwanzaa happy halloween you know all that stuff that i missed hello okay um i missed it for good reasons which we're going to talk about but um yeah that's kind of what i was asking on the internet i was like should i come back because i have a lot of stuff going on and some of it's good some of it's bad and some days i'm good and some days i'm really bad and I just don't know if that's like appropriate to put on the internet because it's not like happy and like I know that my whole motto is like transparency always whatever but like I just didn't want to like keep spewing negativity from my life onto the internet onto my platform because most of my videos I'm pretty happy and smiley and I'm not crying my eyes out and yelling so I just didn't know if that was like okay if that was appropriate you know what i mean like i didn't want someone to be like now she's on the computer and edited a video of her crying like is she stupid like she wants attention or something so like i just didn't want to you know have those um comments made about whatever okay it is what it is it is what it is okay cool so um hello <laughs> it's january of 2023 um a lot of things have gone on since I've spoken with y'all. So as you know, my birthday's in October. Well, it was in October. And a couple weeks after that, I ended up in the hospital. Um, so basically what had happened, well, short story here, short version of a very long story. Um, I started having pain in my arm, in my left arm on like one day in October and um it kept getting worse and I thought it was gas because you know why would I think it was anything else other than gas or the EGS like spreading or whatever because I had just got on a new antibiotic for it um when everything started happening and essentially it was not the antibiotic it was not the EGS I had multiple blood clots in my lungs and I literally almost didn't make it to the emergency room so yeah <laughs> a lot to process with that um because i was really fine one day and then the next day i couldn't breathe yeah so um they were severe and i had to stay in the hospital for longer than i ever would want to stay like i literally stay in the hospital longer than i do when i have a c-section And my insurance wanted to make sure that was necessary before they dished out any money. They were like, wait a minute, we have to like check. Then they sent me another message saying, yeah, it was necessary. You need to do that. Duh, I don't just go check myself into the hospital for a vacation. Ugh. Also, terrible vacation if that's what I was going to do because all it was was people poking and prodding at me and getting on my nerves. Do not recommend. Zero out of five stars, okay? Anyway... So I was dealing with that and then also um, that was triggered by estrogen. So I'm never like I cannot do estrogen ever again in my life. Even when I hit menopause and I'm dying and I really need estrogen, I can't get it. Um, also, I have some genetic mutations and I have a clotting problem. And I did not know that until this episode. And... Um, Thankfully, they tested me while I was in the hospital because they were just a little concerned how someone in their 20s was having this kind of issue. Um, so, yes, thankfully, they tested me even though um, an individual at my primary care practice didn't understand why they would test me for that and bring up all of these things. And now she had no choice but to send me to hematology. Eh, way I'm so sad. Ooh, your job. It's so terrible. Um... But anyway, I did finally get to see a hematologist. Um, first, they were quoting me. Well, they gave me an appointment for November of 2023. And this happened in October of 2022. So you could see how that could be a little frustrating, you know? Um, but I finally got in. They had called me and said we had an appointment available in December. And I was like, not even December. When did they send me? No, it was December. 
it was either December or November, whatever, but they were like, we can see you. And I was like, cool, because I will come to you. So um, I did some more panels and all that good stuff. And yeah, I have clotting disorder. Cool. Now that I know that, I can, you know, do whatever I need to do. So that's probably going to be, you know, inhales or relative pills for the rest of my life. But, you know, we're good. We're working through it. And I'm feeling like a little bit better about the situation now that I have some kind of information. Like I have an answer on that. Um, but now we're just like, you know, checking my heart to make sure I don't have any um, residual, you know, effects um, because I'm not healing as quick as I should be healing. And I still don't have like good um, cardiac health. Like my heart rate still spikes sometimes and it's hard for me to like catch my breath after doing something really simple like going up the stairs. So. You know my cardiologist just wants to check to make sure we are good to go <laughs> um so yeah been dealing with that and then i have hs which i think i've already kind of touched on that um but basically it's high tinnitus it's a auto immune auto inflammatory disorder and basically your body like you know attacks and your inflammatory signals are off and so you just start getting you know inflamed in random places i just kind of like that's how i understand it i could be wrong i don't care i just know that i don't like it so um i always have really bad flares on my left arm my underarm and i'm having a really bad one lately um and i you know my primary doctor that I normally see, she's been out having a baby and she's a woman of color so I trust her and she actually like listens to me. But the quacks in her office that she's left us with, do not recommend. Um, so one quack in particular, I was telling her about this issue and she told me that maybe I should go see a holistic doctor or an integrated doctor so they can look at my whole picture and try to give me a remedy and maybe they can give me like a yoga regimen. even though it's in my chart that i need to see an infectious disease specialist but all the ones that i found they want you to have a referral so i'm like hello can i get a referral and um again i messaged my normal doctor because she's back but um the quack answered instead and she sent me a referral to dermatology and i already have a dermatologist so yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's that's fun being me, right? Um, anyway, I left her on red and her office, you know, they called me twice about this dermatology referral and I said, you can keep it because that's not what I asked for and I hung up. So no one has contacted me again. <laughs> I'm just I'm over it. But I did go back to my dermatologist um, and our next plan of action is to try Humira, which I have to get clearance from everybody that we're going to okay this because again, it affects your immune system and there's kind of like contraindications with the real toe and stuff like that so just have to get a you know check mark from everybody that hey you can try this um but i also went to like another provider because i was like i need someone in internal medicine who's actually going to do the internal medicine part you know and so um the only person who was available was a nurse practitioner which you know nothing against like advanced practice people um but it's just like if you're not gonna listen to your patient and like actually help then you're in the wrong field and you just wasted your time and money and energy and getting this title so anyway i go to this lady uh we're gonna call her uh reba we're gonna call her reba mm -hmm. yeah and reba is not a woman of color um she's an older non-woman of color okay mm -hmm. And um, basically, I'm talking to her and she's like, wait, you know, um, there's really nothing else I can do. Like, this is a really horrible thing. It's just going to get worse and it's painful. And like, I could send you to a pain clinic, but you know, it's really like all I could do. And I was like, mm, okay, whatever. And then she put me back on antibiotics. Mm, okay, whatever. And then she's like, well, I'm going to call my 
collaborating position and we're gonna talk and then i'll call you back mm -hmm. okay yeah whatever so she calls me back and she's like hey i think you should go see a surgeon it's like mm -hmm. yeah okay cool i'll do it so i go to the surgeon and she's like yeah we need to cut that out like we can cut that one little piece of skin out and it's never going to heal the right way but you know it should help them from popping up for like a year or so you know Mm, okay yeah no you're not cutting me open um i thought about it and i was like yeah maybe i should but then you're telling me that i'm my underarm's gonna look crazy forever it's gonna take forever to heal like i have stuff going on i don't have time for that okay so then she had mentioned a humira so that's why i went to my dermatologist so cool because i asked um reba about it and she's like oh yeah humira helps but i don't prescribe it good luck not go see this person or go talk to this so i did my own research and i went back to my dermatologist and i was like let's talk about humira and they gave me a whole thing and i'm going to do a whole workup talk to my other doctors and hopefully get the okay to start humira after i get this flare taken care of so they actually had to like go in and cut it and um irrigate it and stuff like that and so right now it's like healing and hopefully that will help some I mean it's helping right now kind of sort of like I haven't been able to lift this arm in a while but like now I'm a little bit able to so you know I guess it's working whatever um but my dermatologist says that the cutting should be my last option so yeah I'm dealing with that and then I also have some good things going on um so as you guys know Issa was born early because she was growth restricted or whatever and that shouldn't have caused a lot of issues but she is a little um a late bloomer and the quack physician was a little concerned that she wasn't walking at her 15 month appointment was it her 15 month i think so so she wanted me and you know this is what's so annoying i'm about to go on a rant hold on let me let me adjust but yeah, I'm about to go on a rant because it's so irritating to me that like we go to the doctor and they're like, hey, she might need like some intervention, whatever. And like your first instinct is to like, we can refer you to the county and it's going to take this long. I'm like, I don't need to go to the county. Okay, I can pay. You tell me what I need to do and I will pay it because I can. I don't need to go to the county through for anything. I don't need to ask them for help. I don't need them for assistance i don't need them so like your first method should have been hey we need to refer her to a physical therapist so they can do an evaluation or whatever but you didn't do that so while i was in the office with her i said i'm gonna call a special infant clinic who's seen her before and i was like hey guys can i get an appointment because i know you have a physical therapist there and you guys can look at my kid and see if she needs help because she's not walking and they said, yeah, we'll get you in, like, next week, like, whatever, whatever. So I go there to them, and they're like, yeah, she could use some intervention, and, like, you have a couple options. And I was like, thank you for saying I have options. I was like, because I really, I'm not trying to go through the county for anything, because I don't need to. Save that for someone who needs it. I don't need it. I can pay. I just need my daughter to walk. Because we have a trip going up, and coming up, and if she's not going to walk, she's not going. Period. That's the that's what i was concerned about okay because i'm not gonna walk her around a cruise ship are you serious <laughs> she's heavy she's getting heavy she's getting big she's 18 months almost like she's big okay um so anyway they recommended a couple offices that i could go to and i just went and i paid them the money because i can sorry if that's coming off wrong but like seriously the whole issue that i have is like don't already assume that i need to use the county because like i don't i might look crazy today because you know it is what it is sometimes but like i can afford to do what i need to do for my kids so like don't think that i need to wait a month to have someone come and evaluate my kid like i don't need that you know whatever it pissed me off that's all i'm saying but i got her the help that she needed and we've been doing the physical therapy thing and like literally after two or three appointments she just like got up and she just started walking she was just like hmm, okay i'm gonna walk <laughs> sorry guys sorry i took my time sorry i did it the way that i wanted to but i'm gonna walk you know like because i was getting like so like frustrated because i'm like she's not walking or doing the exercise like she's not getting it i don't know so i was gonna get her a walker 
because I already had got her some AFOs for her shoes to like help stabilize her foot, but they weren't in yet. Like she started walking before we even got the AFOs. <sighs> like, I don't know. I guess she just wanted to freak me out or something. I don't know. But I was looking for a pediatric sized walker. Cause I was like, this will help her walk because she can push things and walk, but she just wasn't walking by herself. And I guess she like might have overheard me looking for this pediatric walker and she was like, mm, no mom, I'm not gonna use that. Okay, I'm just gonna walk. And she started walking cause Gabby was over and I was like up here getting dressed and then I came down and she's like, oh, you didn't tell me that she's walking now. And I was like, she's not. Why would I tell you something that's not true? <laughs> And she's like, well, she just walked all the way to the kitchen with me. And I was just like, what? And then I'm like coming down the stairs with my Starbucks, like, cause I'm a bougie housewife, okay? So I'm coming down the stairs with my Starbucks in one hand and like my phone in the other and I'm just, you know, chilling, coming down the stairs. And I like look over and she's walking and I just dropped everything. I was like, oh my God. And I started crying. It was, it was a moment, it was a moment, okay? <laughs> and she was just like thinking nothing of it she was like yeah this is what i do now so now she just walks and um i'm just like wow and we went to therapy today and she literally walked herself from the car to therapy which was a walk okay even with the ramp it was a walk and then she walked to the therapy room herself and we were just like wow she's walking oh, oh my god um and I didn't think she was going to walk outside because it's like unfamiliar to her. But no, she was walking outside and she wanted to walk some other places. And I was like, no, please stay right here. And so now it's like on one hand, I'm really happy because I don't have to carry her to the car. Because she can get to the car and she can get into the car now. But on the other hand, I'm like, oh my God, I told her to stay, stop, stay right there. And then she's like, Pew, nope, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so I have to like keep watching in every direction now. So like when we got home... I said stay right here by the car like I'm holding you but like I also need to get something out of the car and then I look around and she's like mm, I think I'm just gonna go to the trash can like no stay so <laughs> yeah dealing with that um but I, I'm happy that she's walking I'm like oh my god she's walking and you know I kind of feel like my little ultimatum word that was like look no walk no cruise ship and she's like hmm i think i want to go on that cruise ship and start walking you know so I, that's going to be my new philosophy in life is like to give her these ultimatums you know because i think they're working so my next hurdle is going to be um potty training because <laughs> i'm tired of diapers too you know i'm i don't know i'm over them but yeah i just like i'm so stoked that she's walking and it's just crazy because i was literally like oh my gosh she's never gonna walk like he was walking so Hassani walked at 15 months and she's 17 months so I was like well I think she's 17 months I don't know little Hassani tells me how old she is like he's really good <laughs> with adding that up for me because like when she turned one like that's all that I measured stuff in was years like I'm not doing the months anymore I just I can't there's too much work <laughs> like I don't know um, but yeah she's walking and I'm just like wow She's walking. But anyway, um, I think that's all for the update. I don't really know like what else I was gonna um talk about. Um I just wanted to come and give a little backstory on, you know, why I disappeared and I didn't have a little tangent I went on, but um good things are coming. For this year good things are coming good things are happening to me um what else can we update about um i got rid of victoria the volvo <laughs> and that really hurts to say um but we just did not have enough space in the car which i knew going in but i just you know was living out i've always wanted that xc90 always wanted it and I got it and I'm so grateful that I had it and I got to experience it and I love it and I wanted it back <laughs> but I just know that it was not gonna fit uh, like it wasn't fitting us because you say oh you only have two kids like how is it not fitting you but I'm not just driving around my two kids right I'm driving around my mom my grandma like we're all together and we just didn't have any room then we try to go to home goods and at home 
we have no room to put the stuff in that car. So um, I got a Ford, which I never thought I would say that again ever. But I got a Ford Expedition 2023 Platinum, which is literally sitting on the lot for like maybe a minute or so. And I was like, mm, cool. So I got it. And um, that's my Gap car because you guys know I've been pregnant with an Escalade for a long time. And she's almost ready to be born. And when that time comes, I don't, like it. I don't know what I'm going to feel. Because this Ford has a blue cruise, and I'm like, that's pretty freaking awesome. But then I've heard that Chevy GM's whatever Super Cruise is better. So I'm like, mmm, I'm intrigued. Um, so, yay! <laughs> but I still have a reservation for um, the Volvo EX90, which is like the electric version of the XC90, but not really because it's like still different. Um, so I put in a, like literally the day of the info thingy, I was like, take my money because I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Um, but I mean, that's not until 2024. So by then I should have downsides a lot of the junk that my kids have and we should be able to fit, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's about it. I do have another update, but I just don't feel like talking about it right now. I am not pregnant. So please don't say that. But, um, I mean, I'm not pregnant with a baby. Like, I'm pregnant with an Escalade, but I'm not, like, carrying a child or anything like that. But I do have some other things going on, and I just don't want to talk about them yet. I would like to wait and surprise your butt. So, yeah. <laughs> also, um, another thing that is in the works is we are looking for a doodle bob. <laughs> So we're looking for a golden doodle and I don't know like I'm really excited about it but I'm also nervous so that's going on and you know I have my vacation in April which I am so ready for but now I'm back in analysis paralysis of trying to figure out what camera do I take with me and what lens do I take with me because I want to get some dope shots you know what I mean so yeah that's about it um, if you watch this far, you're cool. Too cool for school, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah. Hi. Bye. <laughs> I will get back to normal eventually, okay? Because I was on a roll, as you know, and then I fell off. But it's just like, I just don't want to put bad stuff out in the world, but you guys want bad stuff so we'll see where we go okay bye for real this time okay peace also wait stop don't peace so yeah <laughs> i got an aura ring and every morning it tells me that i need to take the day off i don't know but i trust it so i don't do anything <laughs> every day because it told me not to <laughs> oh my god okay time to go edit this video which i'm probably just going to be looking at myself like why did you say any of that <laughs> okay bye for real this time bye